as you can see, we're gonna be working on the Cressida today. Right now, Nick is executing his idea of how we're actually gonna get this kind of side piece to flow with the rest of the car. Uh, right now, I think we're just gonna build that up, let that dry a little bit, and then uh, start to build up the rest of this. I think the idea is to have this flat all the way across here, and then right here kind of flow into the body. Uh, there's no real you know, a good way to do this is just whatever is gonna look best and this is his idea, so that's why he's doing it right now. Also, his dad lent us this air file, so now we'll be able to block the car super quickly. I did like a little test here and that thing puts in mad work. We have super low grit on it right now, so really like, it, it takes it down super quickly. We probably should have gotten a little bit higher grit for that as well, but I think for now that'll probably be fine. Uh, I'll probably also work on this sometime today. I actually forgot that this was as bad as it is right now, so that needs a lot of work. This is also Nick's like first time messing around with this shit, but his dad's he, his dad's <laughs> a body man, so like he's seen it done a bunch of times, so he kind of has a general nervous. idea of what to do. In theory, I should be good at this. That's the amount of times I've seen him do it. Anyways, right, so I'm gonna prep this other side, sand it down a little bit, scuff it up. And then we also are using Bondo glass in hopes that it will be stronger in the end. Uh, and then, you know, as you can see, he's building this part up here. So that way, eventually, once that hardens, we can build the rest of this up. Whereas if we just tried stacking it, it'd probably just like fall off. Oh yeah, we got plenty more we gotta do here. Yeah. <laughs> and then start to bring it down. And then like you said, we'll probably end it here, which will be really sick. Cause I, th it, I think it'll just kind of flow. And then that way, it'll seem less contrasting for when it stops at the door jam. Realistically, you're gonna lose some of this when you put the... Oh yeah, the, the flare, flare is gonna be covering so gonna a good the, part of it. You're gonna this. see the line, so... It'll look good. And it'll probably have to come out too. I don't know if you know, but like, see how this like... Waves in. Like this is just gonna have to be flattened. Also, I said that the next video was gonna be me putting on the side skirts in the lip, but I ended up going to like Ace and a couple different uh, like specialty hardware stores and I couldn't find any nut certs, or I did, but they were like way too expensive and they didn't have enough of them. They are like a dollar twenty each, which is like crazy if I need like, you know, 20 of them or whatever, so. I was gonna say, screw that, I'm gonna buy them online and they'll probably be here in the next couple of days and then we'll be able to properly mount our side skirts. But uh, the sad thing is, by the time I get those in, I'll probably end up having these wheels sent off to go get them uh, refinished. So this thing might be up in the air for a little bit and that means that it's gonna be blocking that car in, that means we're not gonna be taking that car out, which means we're gonna be working on this thing a lot, which I'm sure you guys are happy about. So just to make this process go a little bit quicker, I'm gonna mix and then he's gonna apply. I don't know if we're gonna switch over to the other side right now. You still got a little bit to do on this side, so I think we'll do this one. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put you guys on a tripod and we'll get this done. This is probably the last layer for this side before I move on to the other one, but you can really see how like Kind of just flows onto there and we're probably gonna take this down a little bit uh, we noticed that if you look at it from the side can't really tell on camera but it comes up there and then we'd have to try and flow it into that body line so i think we're gonna take it from about here and just make it slowly go into that body line it's kind of cool it makes it have like hips <laughs> yeah definitely like right here and right here yeah. need to be that's that one. And maybe not taken down, just everything else needs to be built up because you can still see this needs to be built up a little bit to be perfectly even, but we'll know once we start sanding. You can really see the difference here where it almost looks like it's flat and ends there, whereas on this side, kind of curves off. It's really hard to tell over camera, but you can see something like that to that. I think this actually looks a ton better where it's flat, so we might end up just having it so that it is flat there and then yeah. kind of slowly goes into that. 
That's my plan. Yeah, we'll see. This side's awful. Jesus. Like I, I like, Jesus. I like forgot to sand this side or something. It looks disgusting. one tiny more batch so I can get this one. I'm gonna go ahead and let both sides cure a little bit before I even touch these with sandpaper. Uh, I might not get to them today either, uh, but what I really wanna get to is this side. I didn't realize it was so bad. I don't remember why I missed it or how I missed it, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this side exactly how this side is. And you can see this side is actually pretty well done. This edge obviously isn't near perfect, but uh, We'll get that side done, and then we could probably start working on this back after that side's finished. Well, now that that is uh, where I'd like it to be right now, uh, I don't think it needs to be sanded down anymore. If anything, it needs more Bondo. Uh, these sides are pretty good, but I really kind of want to see, uh, before I finish up this video, I want to see how this thing works and just see how well it does. Like I said, I tested it a little bit right there, uh, but the compressor wasn't at full PSI. So I'd really like to see how that thing does and maybe get a little bit of this done. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong, but this is the second pad that I've broken, and I just started using this one too. Um, I don't know if that, maybe it does want me to use adhesive all the way across there, if that'll help this, but uh, it also does have these kind of clamps on the end, so obviously it just wants me to, you know, clamp it on there, but I don't know if it wants me to clamp it and have the adhesive on there as well. I don't really want to put glue on you know something that's not mine uh, I'll probably end up asking Nick's dad before I do anything uh, you know like I said I'm not trying to ruin a tool that isn't mine it really helps with blocking I'd say but it uses up a ton of air even though I have a 60 gallon compressor it seems like the compressor still can't keep up with it even with having to wait up for the compressor a little bit uh, I think this is gonna speed up the process a lot anyways guys I'm just about finishing up for today Hope you enjoyed today's video, peace out.